I was impressed by the invisibility of this business. I was there and I was documenting it and still I had the impression that so much of it was invisible to me, even if I had it in front of me. As a photographer, I don't think that it is legitimate to feel in the position to tell people what to do. But I do believe in the importance of sharing my experience, my subjective experience, to give people the knowledge to be able to make informed choices for themselves, for what they consider right. And in my experience, I, I saw and I realized a lot of things that are not right with this business. The very first thing that impressed me was the contrast between the sea, the beauty of the sea, and the presence of lines and lines of these cages. One farm has dozens of cages, and in every one of these cages are between 120,000 to 70,000 fish. These fish farms produce a lot of waste, uneaten food, feces, chemical substances, artificial substances. I think it's totally fair that people don't think about this type of waste because it's, it's underwater, we simply cannot see it. In the process of documenting this industry, it was not possible to avoid more emotional images of what happens, of the experience of the fish. Having this these buckets full of ice is the method that is commonly used to slaughter fish on industrial fish farms. And it's supposed to kill the fish by temperature shock. It is described as a very efficient killing method, but in my experience and what I documented, some of the fish was still alive at the end of the processing and was still alive when it was in the packages already. Empathizing with the fish is absolutely important, but I also really want to stress consumers not really understanding the magnitude of the business, of how it impacts environments and communities, and what it means to feed this business. In my experience, I've seen fish farms damaging the place where they are installed, occupying entire bays, entire coasts, to multiply that for all the farms that exist worldwide gave me a sense of vertigo. We barely acknowledge the waste that we produce every day by industries on land, even when they're close to us. I am not surprised that people don't think about the waste that's produced by businesses that are far away and underwater. When people see this photo essay, I hope that these images feed a curiosity to generally research more about what we choose to do and what we choose to buy and how we choose to behave. Because we live in a society where behaviors are sold as a pre-made package that seems to be so simple and not a lot of people have the chance to actually investigate and to actually research what's behind those simple actions that they perform every day.